Okay, my name is Abby Gondek, and I am in the combined MA PhD in African and African Diaspora Studies and Global and Sociocultural Studies. Um, so I'm interested in, um, I was interested in studying Jewish black relations in Brazil, and my previous master's is in women's studies, um, but I needed to know more about the history of the African diaspora in Brazil, and I wanted to do a program that would really um, focus on race. Um, to add to what I already knew about gender and sexuality from my women's studies program. So hopefully I'll be able to be a professor um, teaching in an African diaspora studies program or Latin American studies or women's studies, um, but whatever type of program I would be teaching in, I would be using um, what I learned here at ADS, um, teaching about issues of race and gender and sexuality, um, focusing on Latin America. Um, I feel like AADS at FIU is very different because it focuses on the diaspora and I looked at a lot of um, African and black studies programs and a lot of them are African American focused so AADS is focused on the diaspora um, and so because I wanted to learn more about um, Afro-Brazilian history it was really perfect for that um, and also I feel like there's a really big sense of community within the program and we all hang out together and um, it's a very like supportive community. Um, so my name is Masanya Bennett. I am in the Joint African African Diaspora Studies and Global and Social Cultural Studies program. So I chose AADS because um, I'm just really passionate about race and culture in Latin America and African American culture and AADS here was the perfect opportunity to culminate all those interests and all the things that I'm passionate about. Okay, so I think that AADS will help me in multiple ways with my future goals. For one, I would like to teach um, in academia, um, focusing on anthropology, Latin American studies, and African diaspora studies, and also immigration studies. Um, and I think also one of my other goals is to have a nonprofit that will allow um, low income children of color to study abroad. And I feel that AADS will give me a background that I could share with others as far as cultural understandings and things of that nature. Okay, so one of the most unique things um, about AADS at FIU is that it's in Miami. And I feel that um, here, because it's in Miami, you just have so much more access to so many different things, so many different cultures, so many different activities that all help to um, hone this culture of the diaspora. My name is Tanisha Ingram and I'm a first year master's student in the African and African Diaspora Studies program here at FIU. Um, my major in undergrad was Africana Studies and Sociology and my whole experience with African and African Diaspora Studies has really been a search for my own identity and I feel like ADS really grounds me in who I am and makes me be more confident. Well, my primary goal is to be um, a professor of African African Diaspora Studies. My research interest has to do with Jamaican immigration, but I've always been interested in identity politics and racial politics between immigrants within certain Latin America, especially in um, the West Indies. But I also wanted to practice immigration law. I don't think that's going to happen because I just don't want to go to law school, but I want to practice immigration law. But I think the thing I like the most about AADS is that it focuses on Africana study, African diaspora studies and not just African American history. The other master's programs that I got into focus specifically on African American history and they didn't have a lot of professors that could really help me in my research interests. And I also feel like another difference between AADS and other programs is that the professors here really take an interest in not only your specific research goals but in terms of your enrichment as a student, they have a lot of interest in me and ADS believed in me, I feel like, more than other programs. They had a more personal approach. My name is Leah Murray. And the program? I am in AADS. I think what made it stand out to me as a re-entry student was um, just the compassion and caring of the instructors. I started taking one class at a time 
and the first class I took was with Dr. Queeley. And she believed in me, she rallied behind me. She was one of the main reasons, um, I'm sure, besides all the instructors, you know, that I, that I got in here. And, but she gave me the confidence to think that I could actually do this after being out of school for about 22 years. I think it will help me, I hope, for one, to learn something about Africa and her diaspora because I really didn't know that much. I always wanted to know about the diaspora and I've always had a desire to send black people to Africa because I believe, just like the um, Israelis have a, a birthright and they have a birthright program, I believe that Africans or people of African descent who want to go to Africa should have that birthright as well. So I hope to learn to write um, program designs or to do research that will enable me to support a program that will get me funding, keyword is funding, so I can send black people to Africa. Um, I just want to encourage anyone who's thought about returning back to school after being away for, for, for a very long time to come back, to give it a try, to start you know, maybe one class at a time. That's what I did until my confidence was built up and it's made a difference in my life. So I recommend it. Okay, my name is Alberto Sosa. I am in the master program in AADS. And well, why did I choose this master program? Well, I think that this, depart this department offered me the opportunity of uh, linked my original vocation <clears throat> that was uh, exploring literary texts. And well, through this program, I think that I can link, I can research not only literary texts, but also the bones, the links between literary literature and well, other fields. Anyway, people here are nice and I feel very comfort. I always dream with being a, a professor. Then I think that this program offered me the perfect opportunity to, to reach my, my goal. I think that anyway, I, I, I need to go through the PhD program before, but well, later I am gonna be able to teach at last. <laughs> I am Shaniqua Castle and I'm currently in the African and African Diaspora Studies pro Master's Program. So I was looking at a couple of um, Africana Studies programs um, and I chose AADS because it allowed me to look at the Afro-Caribbean region. Um, some of the programs are focused on either on African American um, studies or specifically like African studies. Um, and so I wanted to look at the Afro-Caribbean community and it allowed me to do that. I also like that it was um, um, a, a program that allowed me to look at different backgrounds, different um, fields of study. So I like anthropology, I like communications, like performance arts, and it allows me to combine all of my interests into one. Um, the faculty members are great. They like welcome me with love. And so there's a lot of different aspects about AADS that I really like and that drew me to it. Oh, and of course, I'm sure everyone said this. The weather is pretty nice too. So that was a cherry on top. Um, for my most recently, I'm going to be applying for PhD programs, anthropology, um, and so AADS is going to be my specialty, my, my um, interest of focus, my focus of interest, interest of focus, you know what I'm saying. Um, and then I'm going to be eventually applying to be um, a professor, and so that will also, again, allow me to give the um, some concentration on the Afro-Caribbean diaspora. Um, and so I'm going to be looking at um, different aspects of black life, black experience, black culture, um, but having a master's in AADS allows me to have that background and, and as I'm going into anthropology. Um, and so I'm very glad that I'm in this program because it's given me some knowledge that I didn't have coming out of college. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be using it to teach other kids eventually about their history, about other cultures, um, and the importance of keeping it in the academia because a lot of people are trying to take it out. So. Um, AADS is going to help me to continue, continue on this, the studies, hopefully.
I'm not getting paid to say this. I love AADS generally. This thing's obviously, right, that we could, could, we could work on. But I love it overall, right? I said I'm being honest. Um, but overall, it's a, it's, a, it's a family. I like that it's small and intimate. I can go to my professors whenever I need them to get help. Um, and they're not like, no, I have like 20 other students. They're like, sure, like anytime. Well, not anytime. But you know, they're there for me when I need them. Um, Rainy and Michelle and all everyone who's involved, not just the faculty members, they're all very supportive. And um, like I said, it allows me to focus on what I want to focus on. Um, we have different collaborations and different resources um, specific to ADS. I love the fact that I can like talk to the people that come to um, give us talks. Um, and so I just, I, I, I really appreciate ADS and I will be and have been telling other people to apply. So I'm looking forward to um, it being eventually a 40th anniversary and a 50th anniversary. When I, oh, when I came, I could come back and say I was here in the beginning. Um, yeah, so I love AADS and I will forever love AADS. Asia Preston, uh, program, Master's African African Diaspora Studies, PhD, Global and Sociocultural Studies, uh, Anthropology Tract. I think I decided on ADS because ADS really stood out to me in terms of the multidisciplinary um, aspects of the program. I really en enjoyed it and I was fascinated um, with how a student can like find their home at ADS, but also branch out to global and sociocultural studies, the history department, or international studies. And it really is a program that allows you to do basically whatever kind of research or um, interest that you, you have and have a home here and have a home somewhere else on campus. So I really did like that. Even when I first came to visit AADS, um, Rainey hooked me up with one of a uh, professor in women's studies and we were able to talk and bridge the connections between my interest in AADS and some of her interests um, over in women's studies. And it seems that same kind of um, family bond has lasted since I've been here for the two years that I have um, been as a student at, at FIU. So that's one of the reasons that I think AADS definitely stood out. And what I plan to do, I always change my mind on what I want to do when I grow up, because I'm not grown up yet. But um, for now, I'll say I definitely want to work um, in a museum setting. And so while AADS and of the, my GSS PhD program, I think it kind of sets students up to be professors. I would like to take my research abilities and my knowledge into the museum settings because there's plenty of research that has to go on in museums. I'm most interested in eventually making my way to the Smithsonian's National Museum of African American Histories and Cultures and being a researcher there um, or a curator. So we'll see what happens, but I think that definitely ADS is setting me up for greatness and success and I hope that um, everything that I've learned here, I'm able to definitely use in the future. Hi, my name is Fiacre Bienvenu. My first graduate seminar was terrifying. The program involved discussing problems of high level difficult thinking. It's a program where language is important in how complex ideas are explored. I was in shock, the shock to see not only how much about Africa, where I first trained, was out there to know, but also to discover how rich, robust, complex, imaginative, and beautiful of meanings the concept of African diaspora was embedded with. But as time went by, I developed a passion for the literature, making my way out, and eventually forming my own voice. When I went into the PhD program, the thinking tools that AADS had offered me were the only thing that I relied on in my subsequent works. It was a good thing that the program is interdisciplinary. So overall, the experience with AADS has widened my thinking landscape it has influenced how I approach complex problems. It lubricated my worldview, and it ultimately contributes to the plurality of vision in all intellectual communities I have been. Thank you. Happy 20th anniversary to the African and African Diaspora Studies program at FIU. I'm Noelle Teilhard, an alumni. I actually started my studies in 2005 
and I took several years to complete my MA degree, but I finally did and I'm so grateful for what I learned in the program. Um, as a photographer, I used my studies to ground my work in the theoretical and academic research that had been done on the African diaspora, so I did a project on global hip-hop. More recently, I actually traveled to Timbuktu um, in Mali, West Africa, and what I've learned in the program has been invaluable to me in terms of seeing connections, um, interdisciplinarity. Uh, now, teaching a few classes online, I've also realized that, you know, that I have this kind of impulse to teach this real desire to um, pass on some of the knowledge that I've been blessed with here in this program. So here's to another 20 years. I'm so grateful. I wish I could be there with you all to celebrate today, but know that I'm sending all of my love.